Well, everyone, this is Dr. Juwan. Thank you for turning in. If you haven't done so already, please hit the subscribe button down below, the bell notification, the like button. And if you have questions, please follow my web link and book me for a consultation. I'll be more than happy to answer any questions in depth. Okay, so. How's it going? What's going on, man? With the baseball furies. We're looking for the warriors. So you're looking for who? The warriors? Why? They killed Cyrus. They killed Cyrus. They shot Cyrus. So why are you here on my channel? You have a big audience. Figure they could help us. We're looking for the warriors. They shot Cyrus. You think my audience is going to help you? Okay. You have a big audience. Please get the word out because he's looking for the warriors. Let me ask you a question. Can you dig it? Can I dig it? Can you dig it? Can I dig it? Can you dig it? What is this, the early 1980s? We're looking for the warriors. They're making their way back to Coney Island. Okay. If you see them, let us know. Thank I you. I hope you enjoy the video. Thank you. Was that so tough? Thank you. <laughs> that was one heck of an intro, wasn't it? Yes, and that was a lot of fun making it. One of my viewers wrote in a while ago, it does take me a while sometimes to make these videos, and that was do a video on phosphatidylserine. Now, you know, I don't promote brands, but this is a brand that I use. Now remember, I always promote, do your research, do your research on the brands, do your research on the dosage, because everybody doses different. And, I, and it pains me to say, to throw in that other video that I wrote about brands and dosage, for people who are not familiar with my previous content, okay? Because everybody's different. I'm six feet tall, I weigh 220 pounds, I work out regularly, so why should my dosage be the same as somebody half my weight? So this is why I always stress, do your own research and look at an individual dosage because everybody doses differently, okay? So let's get to the supplement. And this is a phenomenal supplement, so thank you very much. I'm also gonna do another one on CDP choline as well, so that's gonna be next in the liner notes. So what is phosphatidylserine? Phosphatidylserine, otherwise known as PS. It's what happens is that we produce it naturally and, we de and it decreases with age, and it's involved with memory, cognition, learning, and as we get older, because we decrease the production of our own, this is where you get just kind of slow memory or you don't get this immediate retrieval. And it's good for brain health. It's good for people of Alzheimer's. It's good for people of age-associated memory impairment and, cogni and cognition loss, because as we get older, we produce less of it. Now with phosphatidylserine, PS, do not get confused with serine on its own. That's something totally different. What it's good for is improves alertness, attention, cognition, and memory. As we get older, we produce less of it. Now, phosphatidylserine, it is a fat-soluble compound and it's found in high amounts in the brain where it con contributes to cognitive function. Now, you could Google the food sources that it's high on and it's like bovine brain, lizard guts, things like that, but it's found in high amounts in fish and it may improve the memory and also to help lower cortisol and I'll get to that in a second. So, what is it? It's a phospholipid component of brain cell membrane. Now, all of our brain cells, all of our cells have a phospholipid bilayer. Now, every, this is why good fats are good for us. We need a good fats in our diet, not only for, cell, you know, for cellular function, but for brain health, but for overall nerve repair, body repair, because remember, you are made with essential fatty acids, and essential proteins. You need the fatty acids for repair, for brain repair, for cellular repair. You need the essential proteins for muscle recuperation and neurotransmitter production. So that's very important to have a really, and I always say start with diet. It plays a vital role in cell-to-cell -cell signaling in the brain. Remember, because 
every single membrane has a phospholipid bilayer. It's needed to maintain the fluidity of, of all cell membranes. And this is why having a low fat diet is very, very bad. And so when I do blood labs and I want to know what your triglyceride levels are, you can have too low triglycerides and triglycerides contribute to cell membrane health, but also too triglycerides, that's the blood fat. I always say that's the ho-hos and ding-dongs that you're eating. So remember, there's two, la there's two layers. You have an external layer and you have an internal layer. Remember, this is a phospholipid bilayer. Now, you may also hear of PC, phosphatidylcholine. This is the most abundant phospholipid in the brain. It's, it consists of the outer layer. So this is your phospholipid bilayer. You have phosphatidylcholine, which is the outer layer, which I'll get to that in a second, and then phosphatidylserine, which is the inner layer. It's slightly lesser. So what does it do? It promotes healthy, what we, have, we, have, we have a component called nerve growth factor. All of our cells grow and grow and grow. And the more learning you do, the more nerve growth factor is going to be secreted and supports neurogenesis, the formation of new neurons needed to for long-term potentiation. This is where long-term memory comes in. This is, again, if you don't use your brain, you lose your brain. There's so many people that have graduated high school and they haven't read a book since then. They're not really growing their brain to, to, the, to the best of its capability. So this is where it's so important to build your brain. Memory formation depends on healthy long-term potentiation. Memory formation, the formation of memories, depends on the long-term potentiation, which helps improve memory. It's involved in building the mitochondria. The mitochondria of our cells, that produces ATP. They always say that's our cellular energy or our cellular currency. So the more fuel you're giving to the mitochondria, the more, the more ATP is, is being produced. It helps repair neurons. Now, I've done previous videos about fish oil. So if you look at fish oils, the main components are EPA and DHA. And I always say EPA is good for systemic inflammation, but DHA is good for brain health, brain and eyes. So there are the components of phosphatidylserine. And it works together with a DHA component to protect the brain cells from damage. So when it comes to fish oil, this is where the component of DHA is so important for brain health. Now, what's the dosage? Okay, so let's talk about the benefits and the dosage. Dosing is always seems to be the most important question, and I got a lot of emails on that all the time with questioning. So the benefits. It improves the brain function with neuroplasticity. Now, neuroplasticity is the process of learning because the more you do things, repetition, 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 cells that fire together, wire together, create memory. So it, what it does is so the neurons can form the connections needed to create the memory. It basically gives you the building blocks to get smarter. In addition, it helps lower cortisol, which will increase mood, weight loss, and anxiety. Now, this is very important because when you're stressed out now, you can't, you can't remove the stresses, but what we do is that you learn the coping mechanisms on how to cope with the stress because increased cortisol does a couple things. It increases insulin, which makes you retain fat. Think about it. When you're all stressed out running from the dinosaur, the last thing your body's gonna do is say, hey, let's shed about five or 10 pounds. Forget about it. It's not gonna do that. That's just not how the body works. Why? Because the brain wants to hold on to everything because it wants to shove that aside and just basically is on survival mode. So increased cortisol, hence stress, causes chronic brain inflammation, which shrinks the brain because you're not you learn anything, you're not doing anything to improve memory. And what this allows it to do, it lowers the cortisol. So then what's gonna happen? Lower the anxiety. In addition, because your brain's not inflamed, it allows you to lose weight, has weight loss. Alertness, less brain fog. Now remember, when you're stressed out, what happens? Your brain becomes inflamed. Inflammation, chronic inflammation. So if you have something that increases the cognitive function, it's going to lower the brain fog. Better memory. I thought this was really cool. Anti-Alzheimer's. Now, it, the Alzheimer's, when you have Alzheimer's disease, the main thing that you want to do is do anything to improve the cognition and lower the inflammation. And this is a good supplement to help with it as long as it's combined with the omega-3 fatty acids. Because remember, this is part of that DHA 
which assists brain inflammation. Okay, so dosage, the magic question, dosage. Now, dosage varies according to you. 100 milligrams, three times a day, you wanna separate it out. There's no real benefit for taking 300 milligrams all at once. Now, do not, there's, there's, don't exceed 600 milligrams if you're dealing with the elderly. There's no benefit in using more. More is not better, okay? Your body's only gonna use up what it needs. The side effects, insomnia, and a little bit of stomach upset with the higher dosage. If you have stomach upset with the higher dosage, back down crawl up to the desired amount that you may need in divided doses during the day. Okay, so I hope this helps. Please leave a comment down below, hit your like button, and I'm gonna have a link onto the next one. It's a CDP choline, which is a really good product to use in conjunction with this. All right, thanks for watching, be good.